Welcome Classic Rock fans to another unboxing and this is a, an eagerly awaited one for me. It's the special deluxe edition of the um, debut Barclay James Harvest album. Um, just arrived today, still in its cellophane. Do the honours. So it's, um, you know, it's a nice item, it's quite an expensive item, but it's, it's just such a lovely album and it comes with some uh, lovely reproduction of the first album uh, artwork. Um, and it comes with some great stuff on it, I don't know if it's listed on the back what we have on here. Well, first of all with this one we get the original um, stereo mix of the album with lots of additional tracks of the early morning the single of course and some stuff that is live i'm not sure if this is um it's taking some time on single version is previously unreleased a lot of the un previously um pre sorry previously unreleased on cd a lot of the unreleased stuff is over here i think this too is the is a new stereo mix um additional tracks pool of blue uh, Brother Thrush, New Stereo, Paul Wages, and Disc 3 is um, the Sunshine Early Morning f uh, film version, Early Morning, a broadcast at BBC Radio 1 Top Gear, So Tomorrow, Eden, Unobtainable, uh, Night, Pools of Blue, Need You Oh So Bad, Small Time Town, Dark Now My Sky, BBC Radio 1 Top Gear, uh, The Sun Will Never Shine, again that's unreleased, uh, Dark Now My Sky, BBC Radio 1, John Peel Session I believe, and of course the DVD, if I move this over here so I can read it without squinting. Uh, a new 5.1 uh, sound mix, which is very much the order of the day with these type of things, although I, I don't have a Blu-ray or a, I don't have a 5.1 sound system really. I'd, I'd like to hear some of this stuff. But additional tracks, of course, um, visual material, Mr. Sunshine, short film, early morning, washing the dishes, and Mr. Sunshine again. But like this, there should come with a whole plethora of goodies. Oh, there's more stuff in there. Lovely smell to these things, really, really nice quality. Obviously we get some nice, looks like publicity still from around about that time of the band. Very sepia looking. Love the tank top. Is it my imagination or does he look a bit like Steve Marriott? He looks like a geography teacher. There we go. Good quality cards. They're really nice. None of your rubbish. Oh look, the postcards work. Oh, even then, it's got John Lee's. That's John Lee's. Uh, Mel Pritchard, Les Holroyd. This has got the band there. And we have this poster as well. What do we have? This is uh, oh, very nice. That's what I love about these sets. I tend to buy them for all the goodies I, I get with them really. I just sort of, um, I'm that generation that just likes, you know, physical objects and tactile things really. Which of course uh, is what this is aimed at. Nice poster. In concert with the Bucks James Harvest Symphony Orchestra. Nice little booklet. I think this is a, um, a reproduction program, isn't it? Yeah, reproduction program. Here we have, um, looks like original press release for the, uh, for the album. I'm not gonna read it to you. You can buy it yourself if you want to read it. I won't read a bit of it to you. Go on, you've twisted my arm. This is the first recording from this group for over a year. They have been making appearances all over the country in universities and clubs. The members of the group have composed both sides of this disc and it makes their transfer from Parlophone to Harvest. Barclay James Harvest were formed in the spring of 61. It goes on about the, and obviously the band members. Contact the press office, 6th of June, 1969. Uh, again, this is another obviously press issue that's come out. In the spring of 1604, young Yorkshiremen deserted their Oldham house in favour of a converted 16th century pub miles away from anyone in Yorkshire. Blah, 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 blah. In early years, they've lived there in almost complete isolation, all that time working to uh, achieve their mutual ambition and to write these songs. Um, excellent. Excellent. That written in April 1968. Um, EMI press office. 
and this is absolutely stunning. This is the um, this is the book, which is very nice indeed. Great stuff, eh? I love it when you buy stuff and you really feel like you're getting value for money. Uh, I knew somebody bought the new Roxy Music, uh, the debut album, um, the deluxe edition. I felt a little bit cheated with it, but I never got that, so it was far too expensive. Lovely, but loads of text as well. from March 1968. Sorry about the noise of the little munchkins in the background, they're just saying from school. But I wanted to get this filmed and uploaded today. smoking pipes these days, don't you? How very prog. It's this sort of stuff I find interesting, the sort of newspaper cuttings and clips and old tickets and stuff like that that's really, really, really interesting. Lovely item, it really is quality wise. Oops, I missed the page. And I just love the care and the detail that goes into these things. Of course, there's the original um, Brother Thrush, Netherlands version, a Turkish version of Brother Thrush. the back of it. Nice weighty, weighty tome as well, loads of stuff in there. And this of course must be the CDs, this is the wallet for the CDs, I take it. Looks like this, there's the front, opens up. Hours of joyous music. First disc. Listen to the cacophony of children's voices in the background. And it all slots together again. 
Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, please click like and subscribe, whip out and purchase this item. Now, other than that, um, please do keep listening.